Picture this. You are walking down a busy street in a large city when you unexpectedly run into a friend you haven't seen in years. The encounter is surprising, not only because of the sheer odds of meeting them in this particular part of town, but also because by some strange coincidence, you had been thinking about them just the day before, something that almost never happens to you. This kind of experience is remarkably common. While the details may vary, the essence remains the same. Your attention is triggered by something seemingly random, yet what follows feels meaningfully connected to that prior thought. Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung coined the term synchronicity to describe such meaningful coincidences, and some scientists, such as pioneer of quantum physics Wolfgang Pauli, believed the phenomenon was real and worthy of study. The only question is, how can we be sure this isn't just a product of randomness? Science does not formally acknowledge such an effect, nor has it devised a reliable method to verify it. Estimating whether these occurrences are due to pure chance is extremely challenging, as the total number of possibilities for such strange events is unknown. Synchronicity experiences are often subjective, making them difficult to study scientifically. They cannot be repeatedly placed in identical circumstances to confirm the effect through experiments. All such cases share a common pattern. First, a seemingly random spark of mental activity occurs, followed by a real-life event that appears meaningfully connected to it. In our example, you had been thinking about a person, and suddenly you met them the next day. Could consciousness influence the future? Or, consider the opposite. Could the moment of surprise, upon encountering an unusual event, alter the past? Maybe seeing this person on a busy street triggers an emotional impulse so strong that it reshapes your yesterday? Could the very information about the past be rewritten to amplify the emotions of the present? Interestingly, such an idea resonates with some quantum interpretations. Where the past is not fixed but subject to change at the moment of present observation, information shifting retroactively to create coherence in our perceived reality. Or perhaps there is the third, materialistic option. It is just all your imagination. Maybe you never actually thought about this person in the past, but something deep within your mind convinces you otherwise, creating the illusion of coincidence. Are we merely complex computers, where our feelings of surprise at witnessing rare events trigger a cascade of failures in the circuits of our memory? Science cannot prove or disprove either of these scenarios, nor is it meant to. We exist in a balance between matter and consciousness, to shatter the boundaries between them would strip this place of its meaning. Our consciousness, a part of the information realm, is embedded in the world of molecules through our bodies, which, like the pressure-resistant suits of deep divers, are made from the very same molecules for interacting with this universe. If the mind could regularly shape matter, we would plunge into chaos, where each of us could manipulate the delicate shells of bodies made of matter in which the consciousness of others resides. One last thing, scientific laws impose structure, but in doing so, they also take away a part of our freedom, a world where science solidly establishes the connection between mind and matter, present and past, would confine us to absolute certainty. Why act at all if everything is merely a mental construct? It would strip away the most vital force in your life, uncertainty, the very source of creativity, the potential to learn and improve the world, and the right to choose where you must. Do not rush. We are in the world of atoms for a reason. When the time is right, you will understand.